Welcome to the Fit Girl Magic Podcast. If you are ready to find your inner magic, develop great habits, and a rock steady mindset to feel confident, comfortable, and fit in your body, you are in the right place. I am Kim Barnes Jefferson, and I'll be giving you weekly doses of health, fitness, and life tips sprinkled with humor and real talk. If you're ready to be consistent without the stress of perfection, magic makers, it's time to slip into your favorite pair of PJs, grab some coffee, kick back, and listen to today's show. Hey, Magic Makers, a great iTunes review of the week. I want to thank Ms. Robin for leaving this awesome review. She says, great information, humorous host. If you're over 40, you need this information. Listening here can save you time and frustration with regards to your health. Kim is a great host with valuable information and humor infused. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, Robin Nutritionist. Yeah, that is my hope and goal of this show is that I'm able to give great information to you either via a solo episode or by the the multitude of amazing guests that I've been able to have on the show. I want women over 40 to be like, you know what, sometimes life, you just need to take a step back and laugh, laugh at yourself, laugh at just what life throws our way from time to time. Because if we can't laugh at ourselves, who can we laugh at? So thank you so much, Robin, for that amazing review. And if you're listening here, do me a favor. Reviews are what fuels my ratings with iTunes. It also helps me to better understand the information that I'm bringing to you. So I would love and appreciate if you gave a review and I will read it here on the show. And if you don't know how to do it, do me a favor, reach out to me. I am here to help you facilitate that. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the show. All right, Magic Makers, we are going to talk about something that I've I've been alluding to for a while. And and I've I did a podcast a while ago, and honestly, I can't remember. I think it's been almost a year since I have done a podcast on it. So I think it's a good time to bring it up. And I've I've talked about periodizing your workouts. I've talked about periodizing your nutrition, and I want to like really reinforce that in today's podcast because. Um, You know, a lot of times when I work with um, women, you know, you come in and this is your weight loss goal. And if it's a big goal, you know, 20 plus pounds, and you say to me, I'm just going to eat and drink in this deficit until I hit hit the goal. And for many of you, I will always say, no, 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 we're going to do this for no more than 12 weeks, 16 max, and then we're going to open up your nutrition. The reason why I say that is because how many you feel like dieting and exercising in a certain way gets to be a grind, right? And I feel I truly believe this because of when I was doing fitness competitions, I thought I can eat and drink the same way. So I eat and drink and work out the same way for the entire year like I was about six to eight weeks out from show. And let me just tell you, I just burnt myself right the fuck out. And what did I do on the other side of it? I ate and drank like it was my job. Me and Ben and Jerry's Dublin Mudslide were BFFs sprinkled with a little cinnamon toast crunch on top was fabulous. But I literally ate and drank like I thought thought the world was coming to an end and packed on about 40 pounds. So I want you to know that you don't have to be, uh, hopefully I'm a cautionary tale for you. You don't have to do that. So I'm giving you permission to shift your approach to what's happening. Shift your approach to your nutrition and your workouts to base around what's going on in your life. And so I'm gonna talk about it uh, around seasons, But we all, you know, can look at, you know, zoom out of our life and say, what is going on in our life? So that way we can, you know, adjust our eating and our drinking based on our season of life. And, you know, this is your permission that you do not need to eat, train the same way 365 days a year because burnout. And this way gives you like a breather 
right? It gives you a chance to just like sit down and just freaking relax. Are you over 40 and tired of doing all the things, eating clean, working out, cutting carbs, only to watch that stubborn belly fat stick around? It's not just you. It's time for you to really learn why belly fat gets so much harder to lose as we get older. And more importantly, what the hell to do about it. In my new five day free mini course, five days to crack your belly fat code. I will be breaking down over the course of five days why you have belly fat, why it's no longer about eating less and what to do to actually eat for belly fat loss, how to move and sorry, no burpees are required here, how to manage your stress, aka and keep that belly fat at bay. And finally, the beauty of sleep and recovery. This isn't about the quick fixes. This is your chance to finally understand why belly fat sticks around and to learn how to get rid of it once and for all. So if you are ready for the next step, do me a favor, click the link in the show notes and get yourself registered for this free five-day event. It starts on Sunday, October 20th. And so you know, there are four seasons. So the same thing in your your fitness journey. And each one has its own vibe, its own goal, its own energy. So let's just, let me just kind of like lay out the groundwork. So why is it based on season? So I want you to think about winter, right? And so I live here in New England. So usually winter, it's very, it's cold here. (laughs) Let's be honest. It's cold. We're all kind of like hibernating. We're kind of like, you know, burrowed in because it gets dark at like two o'clock in the afternoon. And so that is our, that, that is like kind of like our hibernation season. There's not, you know, from, unless you're someone who's a skier, there's really not a lot, you know, going on. So like, that is kind of like for, for a lot of the um, women I work with, it's, it's, it's our, like our intense season. Like this is the season where you can become really focused, right? By this point, the kids are back in school. We've gotten into a rhythm. I've gotten to a schedule. The holidays are 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 um the holidays are past, and so we ha- we might have a little extra space in our schedule, right? So this way we can kind of go heads down and really focus in on kind of a a, a muscle building, a, a body recomposition. Uh, phase, right? So it's like, we're really like being consistent with our workouts. We're like making sure we're getting like four to five workouts in every single week. You know, we might have a little bit more energy. We might be able to have spend a little bit more time on weekends doing some stuff. Maybe, you know, you know, our harder workouts happen on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and, you know, we're, we're getting in quality nutrition, packing in the protein, we're lifting heavy, you know, so our lifts probably look you know, something about six to 10 reps for our weights there. And, you know, we're being more consistent with our throwing in our cardio, getting in the sprinting, right? So this is where we're trying to push our limits for food. So it's like, we're, you know, when I say increasing our food, it's like, we're really making sure we're definitely hitting the protein. That's always going to be like a common thread that you hear through this. But maybe I'm making this number up just so that so we can kind of see where I'm going. So I'm having more food. So say if my maintenance calories are 1500, right? Maybe I'm having an extra two to 500 calories so that I'm actually adding more calories so that I can really fuel this build, this body recomposition. And it's not about, and if I eat healthy foods, right? Like most people, if they think two to three, two to 500 extra calories, you're like, I got it. But if I'm not eating donuts or McDonald's and I'm eating quality food, when we do, when we, when I kind of walk you through what's going to happen for the rest of the year, you'll see that it's not going to be this big, you know, it's not going to be a, a big um, to do. So it's really trying to like push our limits, see what real change we can get now that we have this time and, you know, you're meal prepping, you're getting enough sleep, you know, we're doing all the things to set ourselves up for growth, right? And so this is a great time to like, see, can I, you know, push in the PRs and can I push on the cardio? This is like where we do it in the winter time. So this is probably like, you know, uh, six to 12 week process here. 
Then we move into spring. So we all know what happens in, so so this is kind of like late spring, early summer. So, you know, late spring, early summer, the you know, the flowers start to pop out. Things are starting to bloom. So here's where we're like, okay, I know I live here in New England. So, you know, the days are getting longer. It's getting warmer outside. So we're like, okay, we're getting like, yeah, like summer's coming and summer is my J-A-M. So here's where, you know, maybe now we're late, late spring, early summer. Now we're like, okay, kids are starting to get out of school. Schedules are starting to change a little bit. Maybe you're someone who um, has a summer vacation planned up. Maybe you're someone who has a lake house or a beach house, uh, mountain house, whatever you do. And, or you have just like, summer's just like you, right? Like your beach trips, boating, all, all the things, right? So, this season, right, again, is like another, like, like this is like a six to 12 week period. And this is where you might start to slip into traditional dieting mode. And we're going to you know, pull our calories back just a little bit. Maybe you're pulling back on the workout as well. So maybe it's not, this time it's not about going as heavy. Maybe we're like, we're going anywhere from like 10 to 12 reps in our workout. And, you know, where you know pulling back our nutrition but it's not this like thousand calorie type thing it's not this you know diet coke and rice cakes right it is more about being more mindful like cutting back a little bit right here's where you know as you're doing this this is where i really recommend working with a coach because when you're doing this it's kind of looking at and i call them accessory foods right so accessory foods are um so maybe in our build, you were having yogurt berry and you sprinkled some granola on top. So maybe in this part, we take the granola off, right? Um, maybe you are having three tablespoons of oil. Maybe now we only have a ta like two tablespoons of oil. Maybe you were able to get away with like a quarter cup to a half a cup of starch. Maybe now we're doing a quarter cup to a third of a cup. Right. So it's like these little small tweaks that we're making because this is our temporary season. This is our temporary deficit. We're not meant to live here forever. This is for us to get in and get out and keep it as simple as possible. Right. So we don't need to like, you know, go into like pure deprivation mode. We're not white knuckling here. This is just a little bit of a prep for us. Right. So it's like we're, we're you know, um, making sure we're still getting in our walks, we're still getting in that quality sleep, we're still managing our stress, but we're just tweaking our nutrition and our food just a touch in this kind of like small, um, this is a small deficit mode here. But the second thing you could do, depending on you know what you have planned, is that you could also make it maintenance, right? So I could go from winter into maintenance mode, or I can go into this kind of like more deficit, more dieting mode. And then as I talk about um, uh, maintenance, it's like, we've done the work. So now we're going back to maintenance. And so it's like, we're figuring out what allows us to maintain the body composition that we want. And this is where you'll spend the bulk of your time. You know, and that's the magic, the um, the magic of maintenance, right? Is that we need to just we need to understand what it takes to just keep our body in that equilibrium. And and I've done a podcast um about my journey to maintenance because I was I was always like you know when I was a fitness comp competitor I was always dieting I was always like oh my god shows in twelve weeks so must go into diet mode and then it was like off season which like literally like was a blink of an eye I would lose my shit. And then I would go into diet mode. I need. I I had to have to have had to have a show to save me. And I see that with a lot of people. Like you have a diet to save you. Like let's stop saving ourselves from our food. Let's start to really honor ourselves and start to have a freaking healthy relationship with diet and exercise. Diet is not about how little can I eat. Exercise isn't about how hard can I go. Can we just find that like equilibrium where it's like I'm eating and working out in a way that I look forward to. I'm eating, working out in a way that makes me feel okay. Um, so here's in maintenance mode, right? So you're not trying to build muscle. You're not in a deficit. We're just focusing on getting the work done. Like that's it. I'm eating food that I love. I'm able to, you know, go out and have a fun meal with my 
family, uh, my my girlfriends if I want, and then come home and there's no big deal. There's no like racing thoughts about, oh my God, that was so bad. I, I found that like that yin and that yang with um, my food. Um, you're still getting in the workouts. You're still getting in your walks, your sleep, managing your stress. We're just doing things. We're adding just a little bit more flexibility into our life to keep things more balanced, keep things more fun, keep things so you're not like losing your shite when you do have those fun nights out. And and this season is about how, being consistent, right? This is the whole crux of my whole existence is how do we find that fit girl magic? And that fit girl magic is finding those ways of eating and drinking and working out that that is a routine that doesn't feel like a grind that this just feels effortless so that we can find that consistency which will ultimately give us those results and so to like recap where we are so it's like we have we have that winter season where it's like we are just going heads down you know building muscle, doing some body recomposition, you know, kind of like doing that repair work, you know, that, uh, you know, the kind of like you, you see people doing like the road work out in the street. So it's like, we're doing that repair work on our bodies, right? You know, and then from there, we move into that like spring mode where it's like, okay, things are starting to thaw. So maybe we're like, okay, think we're, we start to scale back the workouts. We start to, you know, make some micro adjustments to our food. And then we move into summer where we can move into that more of a, of a dieting type philosophy mode where we truly are trying to be in that calorie deficit. Then we move into fall where we're like, okay, we're part deficit, but part like getting into that maintenance mode of like, you know, looking at the reaping the benefits of all the hard work that we've put throughout the year. And then, and then, you know, winter comes and we go back into that. So that's like every year we're kind of cycling through our nutrition so that I'm not always feeling like I'm in a diet. And then it starts to like kind of us start to get a little bit more more less less crazy right we have find a little bit more sanity around our food we find a little bit more excitement around our food that we're not always feeling like oh my god i blew it today or oh my god is this going to ruin everything and you know i just i'm just i want you to be over having anxiety over your how you're exercising and what you're eating like i want you to be over that anxiety like the only anxiety i want you to have is about things that aren't food and exercise right you could have anxiety about anything else but anxiety about food and exercise come on we need we need we need to break up with this we spent too much time at this point in our lives thinking about food and working out right so can we make a path so as i said you know even though this ha is like I, I called it seasons, you all know what your season is. We all know kind of like what what when could winter be for me? If winter isn't January, January, February, March, maybe winter for you is summer, right? Maybe your summers you have the more time, you know. And so, like you know, June, July, and August is your winter. Uh, but uh, here's where I want us to like zoom out and kind of know what our lives look like. You know, um, I talk about this all the time. I have a client who is does taxes. So for her, her her maintenance mode starts pretty much the end of January and runs through the middle of May, right? So down there, she's like pure maintenance mode, whatever it takes just to kind of maintain everything she's got going on. Then she can go into winter mode in May, June, July, you know, August, you know, whatever brings her joy. And, you know, but at this other time, I have a client whose son is a really intense basketball player. So, you know, roughly from um, October through April is her maintenance mode, right? So it's like us looking at our lives and seeing how things are going and knowing that it's okay if I have to pull things back and that it's only a temporary moment. You know, if you notice everything I talked about, most of it lasts 12 to 16 weeks and maintenance could last as long as you want it to last you know maybe you're like i'm just going to be a maintenance mode i don't ever care to build muscle i just want to make sure i'm keeping what i got and maybe you just are like hey i got a vacation coming up and about you know 12 weeks be before that we start to you know 
do some fine tuning to your nutrition and your workouts. And then you go back into maintenance mode after that vacation. Right. So there's there's so much new there's so much nuance here when it comes to diet uh, diet and exercise that it's not always about go big or go home. Like fuck that. I'm over that. And I want you to be over that too. Like that just literally just just pisses you off, right? Because you know, there's when you go big, it's big, and then you can't sustain it. And I don't know, I'm I'm done with the unsustainable here. So it's okay to change the intensity through the year. It's okay seasons have seasons where you go all in. And there's okay that you have seasons that you pull back. You know, for me, the next three months, I am going all in. I, I don't have any travel on my schedule. And I'm going heads down and just seeing what I can do to recomp my body, right? But it's like, we're not robots. And so, you know, our bodies are different. They crave different things at different times. Maybe you're just coming out of a really stressful time. You know, I have teachers right now who like, we're like, oh, we're just trying to get our shit together to be at the beginning of the year. Sure. And then maybe you don't think about this until January, or maybe you're someone who's like, oh, my family, I'm entertaining, blah, blah. And you can't think about anything. Then that's all right, right? You look at your life and decide how this is going to um, work for you, right? You give yourself permission to step into that season, step into it, step into it and give yourself permission to be like, it's okay if right now things are, 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 are scaled back just a touch because it's just a season I'm in. But I want you to really think about how long the season's going to last, right? Because I don't want you to be like, Oh, I'm so, I'm so busy right now. And then busy lasts for two years. I want you to get really, really more like strategic about what your life looks like, you know? So if you can sit down and your calendar and like literally for the next, and look at like the next 90 days from this day that you're listening to it and project out 90 days from whatever day you're listening. And I want you to look at your life and say, okay, you know what? This looks, you know, this looks like, winter. This looks like it could be fall, like whatever it is. And sit down and really kind of um, pinpoint and just say, for the next 90 days, this is what my focus is going to be. Because I know it. I see it all the time. It's really easy for you to say, oh, oh, it's busy um, next month. It's busy after X holiday or X, after X birthday or after X. And next thing you know, the calendar has changed. A you know, and it's another year has gone by, another six months, another three years have gone by. And when I ask you to, to look at the calendar, I'm not asking you to like get crazy. I'm just saying, decide what season you're in and decide what's at least one thing you could focus on with your health. Because if you're not liking what you see, there, I know there's always at least one thing you could do, right? So it's like, what's your one thing? Could I just look at what the hell I'm eating and make sure that I'm, you know, maybe you're not eating maybe we need to focus on protein. Can I look at my sleep? Am I stress ball? Um, am I not working out? And if I'm not, why am I not working out? Right. There's always like one or two things that we can look at. And I say one or two things because I know you guys are like, give me the list. And then I was like, if you're not doing anything right now, and I, I mean, no disrespect to you at all. When I say this, what makes you think you can go from zero to 60, right? You are not a sports car. And own where you are, y you know, there's certain people that you can throw into the river with a rock and they can float to the top where others are going to sit on the bottom and be like, well, that was a smart idea. And then have to figure out how to float back up to the top where I'd rather you pick one thing, freaking nail the shit out of it. Be so proud of yourself that you nailed it and then move on to something else. That's all I'm saying. I want you to have a win. The more wins you have underneath your belt, the more likely you're going to freaking do it again and again and again. So, as I said, take a look from wherever you are right now for the next 90 days. What mode are you in? Can we get, can we go, you know, beast, <laughs> get super intense? Are we, in, are we needing to prep for something or are we needing maintenance? Now, if you're someone who's like, oh, I got to prep for something, 
I want you to first spend at least four weeks in maintenance because you might be in this like ridiculous deficit. And I see it all the time. Um, a lot of women um, are eating way less than they think. And so maybe just take a peek right before you dive in. Where are you before you're like, because some of you might be at like that 12, 1300 calories and you're like, I need a slash and burn. And then you just feel like shit. And I don't want you to feel like shit because life's too short. So if you have questions about this, do me a favor. Don't be shy. Holla at your girl. I want to help. I want to support you. So wherever you are right now, know that it's 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 okay to be where you are. It's okay. And when the season changes, so can you, right? And so for today's episode, if this resonated with you, do me a favor. Can you share it with a friend and that needs to hear that it's okay to shift and change their uh their nutrition, their workouts as the season changes. And remember, you got this. Like whether you're lifting heavy, you're enjoying some downtime or prepping something special, you are exactly where you need to be. All right, Magic Makers, I absolutely love that you are tuning in and enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you for listening to the Fit Girl Magic Podcast. If you've made it this far, yay. I'm thinking you enjoyed the show. Let's continue the conversation on Instagram. You can find me at Kim Jefferson Coach. In order for me to keep sharing this message, do me a favor and leave me a five-star review on iTunes. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss an episode. New episodes are available every Wednesday. The Fit Girl Magic Podcast is intended to provide you with tips, tools, and strategies that will help you make better decisions about your health. I really appreciate your feedback and your support. Thank you so much.